Yeah, great episode today. Yeah, nice and sunny day. Very after... sunny, warm. We're in short sleeves. Wow, we finally Woo! have some warm weather here in Arizona. But this episode That's is... That's funny. Warm yeah. weather in Arizona. Yeah, well, during the winter, that is actually a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, this episode is going to be about adding extra space. Here we go. And we'll get to that after this. We ordered the clam quick set gazebo, and this is how it came. It is just a little over six feet long. The yeah. box is also about eight and a half, half inches feet. wide. The reason why this is important, if you plan to get one of these things and carry it with you, you need to have a place to put it while you travel. We have an eight foot bed, and we have a lot of clearance from the uh, from the, the hitch plate to the floor of the bed. So this is gonna slide in really nice and neat in the bed of the truck while we travel. So I wanted to leave that so you can see that. We're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and we'll uh, start setting things up. I'm sorry, this is this is really kind of funny. So we unzipped it, right? And inside is the instructions. Step one in the instructions. Unzip the storage bag and <laughs> remove the shelter. Use care not to misplace the instructions and stake and rope pouch. Okay, unzip the bag and remove the instructions. <laughs> Easy, it pop, would help, it easy would, pop up, it says. It would help to read the instructions of it. When all else fails, read the instructions, men. Yeah, I see it now. But this, okay, the, mat on, is, the mat is on the mat. So it does help to read instructions first. Which he didn't do. And the handles, the handles go on the outside. So now, if you follow around, all you have to do here is pull a handle on each one. There we go. You know, it really helps if you have it the right way to begin with. Well, this is cool. What do you think? We need the bigger. Pretty cool. Yeah, let's. Uh... Can we get the bigger mat, please? So this is standing up pretty good, but we do have these extra vertical poles that we can put in here on the door if we feel we need them. At the moment, I don't know if we necessarily need them because they did say that was an optional step. We're going to go ahead and put these down. So it just un velcros. And then that just kind of pops down. And then there's uh, Velcros here. It looks like a tie too. You know. There we go, that makes it better. Yep. We bought a couple of accessories. I think the light will be able to hang here. It's a shame they didn't have a hook in the middle, but you can hook it there. Now it does come with stakes, but we actually bought some water weights because in most places we've been, the ground is way too hard to be able to drive a stake in. Or they won't allow you. Or they won't allow you. So we bought water weights. We'll be grabbing those in a little bit and putting those in. But first let's take a look at our sunshade sides. All right, when we bought this, it did not come with sunshades, but we went ahead and paid a little bit more and bought a three pack of sunshades. It'll be in the description below. Oh, so already we're nice and shaded. We've got our light that can hook right there. Yep. Ever have that situation when you put fresh paint on the walls and then you look at the rug and say, this isn't gonna work. Well, Walmart run for a new carpet. <laughs> while I was out here working, our water weights showed up. So I will have the uh, information on these in the comments below, but uh, these fill up with water and we'll see how these work out. All right, so basic weight of these things empty is really lightweight. And now I can definitely feel it's pretty hefty. The water weights are all in place. And that's kind of holding down the fort, so to speak. I got one there, two of them up front, and one more on this other side. 
and I'm going to rearrange the electrical cord so it's not right next to a water weight but it should be okay these things are definitely leak proof and uh, that's kind of the end of the setup so we've got the tent sidewalls water weights and our light fixture okay so let's go ahead and move on <sighs> so that's going to be it for this episode yeah, yeah if this thing went up pretty quick even though I did not read the instructions to start with <laughs> but once we got it right side up it went up in about a minute seriously we had the thing up yeah. about a minute and maybe two, at the most. Maybe two. but once uh, that was the first we had time to figure stuff out yeah it was so. right out of the bag so we had not really done yeah. any of it before so uh it goes up fast i think after we do it once or twice we're gonna have this thing down in 40 seconds or less <laughs> uh, easy and the sides actually are designed it looks like to be able to stay on when you put it away because mm -hmm. it's just cloth and the way it hooks on it looks yeah, like you don't sides. yeah the shade sides the it looks shades. like you don't have to take them right. off so uh we'll check that out we may have an update later to see what <laughs> we'll happens see. but that's it make sure you hit that subscription button and hit that bell let you know when we post every sunday at, at two. two don't forget it a thumbs up for good measure and I'm working on we're it. working on it <laughs> I'm working on it too we're so involved in the oh my gosh yeah we'll have to this weekend is... maybe we'll do a short clip just showing you a little bit of the playhouse of what we're production. doing yeah we're very yes involved. I am the phantom of the opera so and I'm his stage manager huh? yeah there uh, you go so until next time safe travels <laughs> it's